Hello, welcome to the channel. This is the Baron. Today I'm opening up box number two of my case of Dust till Dawn. I lost, I lost the name of it there for a second. It's just like, I seem to have a problem with the plastic. Alright, let's get into this. Hopefully we'll see some good stuff out of this box. Last box, not so much. Still looking for some warmongers. So, realistic goals here. All right. Get in here and look at there, right off the back. Hold the line, majestic foil. Now, I did not forget sleeves this time i actually was going to use these for a deck and hated them uh, for the double sleeving stuff as you can see so i decided that i would uh just use them to put into the binder so there we go no sense in wasting them they cost too much and i tried cutting a couple of them off because of that flap thing and oh that was horrible and i'm like oh that looks all janky at the top and I'm like I don't know if that would scratch the card or not so I don't feel like doing that either all right there we go so we will just put them in there and then we sleeve them later whenever we use them that way I've got got them in the play binder that is a cool looking common foil rare and a rare axe oh cool so we actually get a rare weapon this time Last time, we did not. That's a cool foil. It's got a rare and a majestic. Wow. I got one of these. Cool. That one, I really like the cold foil. It came out at a big price and went down. I think it's about $20. I like it. I think it's a playable card. Couple of oh, majestic ride sp spread abomination. Do I want to? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and put the regular. All the majestics will go in the binder. Might as well just sleeve them up. They'll all go in the binder. I decided on this set since this is the first set that I bought that I would. Uh, is that my? Oh, okay. We got a legendary in the place of the foil. Awesome. So we got the rune blade equipment. So this is our first legendary of the case. Two rares. This one I would really like the full art version of. Uh, which doesn't mean it's not going to happen. I've seen both of them come out of the same case. Love the, uh, love the artwork. Love the coloring. are rare and it's just all rares all rares and common rare and rare oh we got we got a hero see so this one is definitely this box Definitely shaping up a couple of different weapons, rare hero, legendary. Doing good. Rare and rare. And there is our common foil, our rare, followed by another rare. Get here. Foil, rare, and rare. Almost done with the first stack. Let's 
That's a token I don't see very often. Oh, a Majestic, Starstruck. All oh, those have gone up. A rare and a rare. So foil, foil Starstruck is probably a pretty good hit. I was just thinking it's about time for another Majestic. If we're going to hit our seven or eight per box, that seems to be average. Should get about half of that in a stack. And we got that. Rare and rare. All right, moving on to the second half of the box. These, when you sort of mess up on the pack, it's sort of nice. You could just roll it around. I, I like the paper packs. Rare and rare. Another Herald. And then we'll go straight into the common. Rare and rare. Majestic Diabolical Offering. I have seen that one before. I don't know if I have, I don't think I have a playset, but there we go. So that is Majestic number three on the non foil. Oh, I still love that foil. Oh, yes. All right. Now, that's a cold foil. I was just talking about that. It's it's only like $20 now, but I really like it. And uh, I was considering buying one. Now, I don't have to. I think when it came out, it was like 50 But, uh, yeah, I really think that people are going to play that with Vincent. I know I would. Um, that's the reason I wanted one. So, that's awesome. If I play that character, I'm leaning towards other characters since I'm newer to uh, to play that may be easier. But um, that is the one out of this set that I would go with. Rare and a Majestic Northern Winds. Put that there. So that that is a that's much more of a fun cold foil than constantly getting the common gear. So this is this is a good box. Common, rare, and majestic. So picking up on the majestic. Still need a warmongers though. Ah, oh, you guys are killing me. No warmongers. I am definitely picking up some stuff for the binder though. So this is my third case, so at this point, I should pretty much have a really good assortment, and I guess I'll just pick up the extras. Rare and rare. Rare weapon. So quite a few weapons in this box. Went through a lot of the weapons. Rare and... Majestic Poison the Well. That's actually the first one of those I've pulled. You know, it's not, not an expensive card. I just have not sat down to buy any yet. I'm like, let me let me go through my boxes. This would probably be it for me. Um, whoop. Well, there's a Majestic. Cool. Which I don't even know if I had. Let's go over here and get those rares out of the way. I do not know if I had one. Of I don't think I do. Because even in the, uh, because they're majestic, they're so hard to hit. That I don't think I have just a regular one of this. So there was a lot of majestics out of this box. I 
I mean, we didn't hit any more legendaries or anything because uh, I've seen two, two and three legendary boxes, but it definitely picked up on the Majestics. I'll get a sound count here in a second. Go through here and just two rares. Okay, let's go through here. So we got one, two, three, four. Uh, was that a foil one? No, five. Don't count the foil. Six. So we had six non foil majestics, two foil majestics, our cold foil, and a rainbow foil legendary. So yeah, this was this was a good box. It's one of those boxes. Money wise. Um, with these being like $80, I think she's like 30 and he's 20. So there's $50. So, I mean, this is one of those boxes you, you got your value out of for sure. Not to mention the playability of all this other stuff. So real happy with this box and, uh, I'll be back with another one. So if you're enjoying these videos, please like subscribe and all that fun YouTube stuff. And I'll see you next time.